What up, what up, what up? It's your boy D House in the building. Back at you for another video. Um, let's talk about social media. You know, Instagram, TikTok, uh, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, and whatever other platforms of social media there are out there. Um, it's interesting how, yeah, we have the right to say pretty much whatever we want. And I've noticed, even if you try to be respectful when speaking about someone, especially someone in politics, they still flag your videos. Like, um, I was talking about a Pacific president and uh, I'm gonna try not to say the name. And uh, I didn't say anything that I thought was negative or real bad. Um, and it was a three minute video and I posted it on YouTube. But somehow, some way, YouTube found it was in violation of their community standards, say community rights or community stuff, and then deleted the video. And uh, I was banned for like a week or two for not posting videos. Um, and I think I was give, given a strike at the time. Um, so that's why now I try to be careful with what I say about anyone in politics because I'm not in a position to be, I won't be famous on YouTube or make a lot of money off YouTube. I want to be able to be on this platform and not get in trouble. So I'm making sure I don't go outside the community guidelines. Yeah, that's it, the community guidelines and get myself in trouble and get my channel deleted or get my videos deleted. So with that being said, um, please someone, leave me a comment on what I can and cannot talk about when I'm talking about a president or city council person or state assembly person or Congress person. Let me know what I can and cannot talk about. Leave it in the comments. I would like to know what I can and cannot talk about. You know, even if I say their name, I want to be able to no, I won't get in trouble for doing it. So, um, you know, and I think it's interesting that a president is being charged. First time in history that just, you know, actually been and done that a president goes to court and has to plead guilty or not guilty and being charged with a crime. Um, it's interesting news. Um, I think it's People need, we need to know about it and talk about it and uh, understand it. Um, it's unfortunate that we have to have this process. Um, a person has to go through that. Um, I'm not con condoning good or bad things. Um, a person does, especially bad things. I'm not condoning that. But also, too, uh, it's, the system is, you know, it is what it is with the political system and the judicial system, you know, and uh, whether we like it or not, we have to uh, abide by the rules and regulations, you know. Um, it's unfortunate that a person commits, I mean, they're found to be, have committed a crime or numbers of crimes and they have to be put on trial. It's unfortunate. Um, but sometimes people put themselves in a position where there's no other choice but to charge them with a crime. Now, I'm not saying this particular president or the person being charged with a crime is guilty. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying he's not guilty. I'm just saying that there's balances and checks, a system in place to determine his guilt or innocence. So, and I gather by now you guys know who I'm talking about. Um, but... I'm not here to to uh, say he's guilty or not guilty. I'm not a judge. I'm not a jury. Um, so you two, please, I'm not trying to uh, talk down about, down about somebody. 
So just let me have my video, let me have my moment and help me understand what can I say so my video won't get in trouble. My videos talking about a specific person won't get me in trouble. Get my channel erased or deleted or stricken or a strike or whatever the case may be. Help me understand that. So with that being said, please anybody, everybody leave a comment. Thank you for watching this video and let me know. Thank you.